Hi everyone. As you know, we've been writing our historical fictions and your writing task for this week is going to be doing a snapshot about a moment in time. So I just want to go back over what a snapshot is because I know some of you have done it before, but it might be new to some of you. So a snapshot is like when we show not tell and it's about a specific moment in time. So I often use the example of a watermelon. So let's just pretend I've got a really big watermelon. Okay, the watermelon is my big moment in time. And if I'm talking about historical fiction, I'm going to say that my watermelon is World War II. I'm going to then take a knife and I'm going to slice that watermelon. And I'm going to say that that slice is a moment in time a moment in time from my big moment in time. So my slice is going to be the announcement of the end of World War II. I'm then going to take it even further. You know in a watermelon you've got a little seed? We've got lots of little seeds, but we're going to take one little seed. And that one little seed is going to come from our big watermelon. Our big watermelon was World War II. Our slice was the announcement of the end of World War II. My seed is going to be watching the man dancing through the streets. So instead of writing about a big moment, your snapshot is going to be about that seed. It's going to be one small moment in time. It's like you've just taken a photograph and you're writing about how you felt right at that time. And what you're going to do is you're going to stretch your writing out with lots of juicy details. Now the thing to remember is when you write a snapshot, it doesn't have to be very long. It just has to have lots of detail. So when I say that it doesn't need to be very long, it can actually be one or two paragraphs long. As long as you've told me things like, describing the setting at that very moment in time? What were you thinking at that very moment in time? How did you feel? What did you do? And this is a really good opportunity to use some really strong action verbs. What did you say at that very moment in time? And what were the other people's reactions around you? Sometimes we can focus on things like what did you see? What did you hear? What did you smell? What did you taste? And we, when we talk about what did we taste, it doesn't have to mean a literal taste. It could be a taste of freedom, for example. A taste of achievement. What you need to do is create a picture in your reader's mind. So remember, you're writing about a small moment in time with lots and lots of detail. You have to make sure that you don't let the camera move. You've taken your photo and it's at that very, very time. What were you feeling? What were you seeing? What were you hearing? Make sure you show me, don't tell me. So for example, when I talk about it felt like joy. What did joy feel like? What did joy sound like? What did joy taste like? So remember, show me, don't tell me. Create a picture in the reader's mind. Don't let that camera move and keep it short. It only needs to be one or two paragraphs. It's just that moment in time. It's not the watermelon. It's not about the war. It's not the slice. It's not about the announcement of the war ending. My historical snapshot is about that seed. It's about that moment in time when that photograph was taken. What was it like for me to see that man dancing through the street? What did that mean to me? What did that feel like? What was going on around me? What could I hear? That's a snapshot. Don't let the camera move. We don't want to go from one place to another. 
It should start and finish in the same spot. That's what a snapshot is. Now you don't have to write about the war. You can write about any moment in time. We're letting you choose the historical fiction that you write about. What we are asking you though, is that you just do a snapshot. It's not from the beginning of the war to the end of the war. It's just that, and I say it again, moment in time. Okay, so do your best. Remember, it's short, okay? And we don't want to see little headings, what I see, what I hear, what I taste. You write it out. Write it out as a description. Have fun and good luck. Bye.